there. Well, speaking of super high priced luxury cars, the opposite end of the spectrum, my Bach. We're talking about luxury, with a sticker price more than most homes, really. Jeff Cotton is the manager of Fletcher Jones Motor Cars in Newport Beach, the number one Maybach dealership in the United States, giving us more details. How are they selling? You know, Dagan, they're selling extremely well, but first, got to correct you, not the manager of the store, just the manager of Maybach. Okay. Uh, we actually anticipate sales to be up this year. Uh, the economy has had very little effect on the, the clients buying my box. Uh, they start out at a price at 350 and we're selling them for over 500000 on some special orders. Do you, People are buying them. How many do you sell, though? We're only talking about a few dozen, right? Yeah, we are. Typically, last year we sold about 24 new ones at our store locally. Uh, there's only 150 come into the country, typically, on an annual basis. Um, very, very few people, yes, will even have the opportunity to buy one. Uh, each one is custom. Uh, very few have said you'll ever find them to be the same. Uh, but there are clients out there that uh, just want the very, very best, and that's what they go for. Who would drive one of these, though, versus a Bentley or a Rolls-Royce? Great question. Very, very diverse clientele. A lot of business people, a lot of names certainly that you would recognize. Uh, celebrities especially, um, we've sold a lot recently to the rapper group, the, the uh, hip hop group, it seems to be their car of choice. Uh, a lot of famous singers, Mariah Carey, um, Nicolas Cage, you've got Rush Limbard, people of that uh, stature driving these cars. Um, you question why would somebody pick a Maybach or over mm -hmm. say maybe a Bentley or a Rolls? Uh, would probably be answered better by one of my clients that recently <laughs> said, um, you know, a Rolls is for somebody who wants to look good on the outside, and the Maybach is for somebody who wants to feel good on the inside. A whole well, different vehicle. How many of these vehicles are financed, or do you even lease them? Absolutely. We actually lease the majority of them from our store. Uh, the advantages of leasing are tremendous. Uh, you get the opportunity to change the vehicle very often. Uh, the vehicle came out in 2003 as a 2004 mm -hmm. model. Mm -hmm. We already have clients that have changed them four times in four years. Uh, it makes it very feasible to do that when you lease the vehicle as opposed to purchase it. What's the payment uh, on a lease? Well, it ranges typically. Uh, the average payment on a lease, I would tell you, is around $10,000 a month. Hmm. Well, better than forking over 350 in cash. Jeff, I have to admit, Absolutely. though, I've seen one at the New York Auto Show. And the commentary I got from a lot of people was, it looks a little like a hearse. Well, you know, that's, that's the answer. You've seen one. You should drive one. You should spend time in one. The person buying the Maybach tends to be a little bit quieter and not want to be noticed quite as much. I recently took an order from a very famous uh, entrepreneur out of Silicon Chip Valley that's trying to design the, her uh, the hearse. Oh, you've got me saying it now. <laughs> trying to design his Maybach to look just like a regular vehicle. I mean, his color of choice is to blend in. He's trying to do everything he can, which seems ironic, to make it not noticeable, mm -hmm. unlike the Rolls and the Bentley. Yep. And I think they've achieved that. Jeff, thank you so much. It was good to see you. Jeff Cotton with Fletcher Jones Motor Cars out in California. We've got much more on Fox Business. We've got the high end of the world, and we're also watching down in the dumps, the markets. Stay with us. The biggest name.